I made a big decision today. I am getting personally involved once again with the content for Sober Nation. For anybody that knows me, Sober Nation was like the highlight of my life basically. It's the website that I built that taught me all about writing online and creating content and, and building brands and it, it means a lot to me. And a couple years ago I stepped away from it because I was burned out from it. And I'm ready to get back in it again. I need to get back in it again. The, the truth is the community is kind of like fizzling out a bit and it makes me sad. And uh, it just hasn't gotten the love that it needs and deserves and so I'm getting back in. But what I'm gonna talk about, which is why this is important, is because it can feel very daunting. Like Sober Nation is a big, big website. And to think of just starting back in and you know fixing some of the problems that just inevitably come up when things don't get uh, maintained is, is daunting. And in the past, what I would have done is tried to fix the whole thing all at once. I would have just taken the whole project on and be like, come on, we can do it, let's go, let's go. Like we gotta fix this thing, let's move. And over the last couple of years, I have learned through my personal brand, really through timstods.com, that the way to advance is to just make little bits of progress every single day. So about two years ago, I decided for Tim Stiles, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to send an email every Friday. I'm just gonna write a newsletter and I'm gonna send it every Friday. And over time, the format of the newsletter has improved. My subscribers have gone way, way up. Um, the kind of content that I put on the newsletter has changed a bit because I found out like what people are really interested in just through the iterations. And that was it. You know, that one little habit also started to writing one article a week. It also brought me my podcast. It also enabled me to, you know, create some automations on the email list so that I could sell services to digital commerce. And now it's like really successful and it's making some money and it's really cool. But I never would have been able to do that if I went into the thing saying like, okay, I wanna build a personal brand. I wanna write blogs every week. I wanna send a newsletter to thousands of subscribers. I wanna have a podcast. I wanna have a business behind it. Bam, like let's go, let's get all this all at once. So with Sober Nation, I am not coming in here and just trying to fix the website. I'm not rebuilding the brand from the ground up. All I am doing is following the same exact protocol that I did with my personal site and I am starting with a newsletter every week. <laughs> and that's it. I am sending a newsletter every Monday. It's got a, a, a significant amount of subscribers. There's a lot of people who subscribe to Sober Nation. And so these newsletters within themselves are gonna have a huge impact. Like people are gonna get involved again. I, I know that we're gonna watch the social media channels go up and, and people start getting involved in the YouTube channel again. I know that's gonna happen. And I'll send a newsletter for a month. Maybe I'll send it for two months. I don't know, maybe it'll be six months before I go on to anything else. But then the next step after that is I'll start working on the site again. And I'll, I'll repair one page. I'll improve one page of content a week. Whether that's a blog post, whether that's a, an actual page, whether that's one of the resource pages that we put together. It's not the point. The point I'm trying to make here is that anytime I've ever gone into a big project, and tried to fix the whole thing all at once. And I'm not, I don't necessarily mean within like an amount of time. I mean like taking on all of the things and working on them all simultaneously. All that's ever happened is I got burned out and it collapsed. And I can give you examples, believe me. I can think of three of them right off the top of my head of examples where I saw a project, I was like, fuck it, let's go. Let's do everything all at once and it totally collapsed. That's not the way to do it. The way to do it is to find one thing and build a habit of like perfection into that thing so that you don't have to think about it anymore. It just, what happens is it feels like a long time and then all of a sudden it works. So it trudges along, it trudges along and nothing's working and then all of a sudden everything's working. It's a really good feeling but it's really, really difficult to get there unless you have the patience and like the emotional fortitude to see things through even though you're not seeing instantaneous results.